वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11-25 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सर्कुलर हॉलो शॉफ्ट इज सपोर्टेड बाय अ स्मूथ थ्रस बेरिंग एट ए एंड स्मूथ जर्नल बेरिंग एट बी इफ द शॉफ्ट इज मेड फ्रॉम स्टील हैविंग अलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस 150 मेगा पास्कल एंड अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ 85 मेगा पास्कल डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम अलाउेबल मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ टू फोर्सेज पी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड टू द शॉफ्ट द थिकनेस ऑफ शॉफ्ट वॉल इज फाइव मिलीमीटर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ शॉफ्ट ए बी एंड दैट इज सब हैविंग सपोर्ट ऑफ स्मूथ थ्रस्ट बेरिंग एट ए एंड स्मूथ जनरल बेरिंग एट पॉइंट बी एंड देर आर टू फोर्सेज पॉइंट लोड्स ऑफ पी अप्लाइड एट डिफरेंट लोकेशन सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द this value of p that can be applied to this shaft the cross section of this hollow shaft is given the outer radius is 80 mm while in thickness is uh, 5 mm so allowable bending stress is 150 while allowable shearing stress is 85 mega pascal outer radius was 0.08 m and thickness was 0.05 so inner radius is equal to c outer minus t which will be equal to 0.05 so this is your c inner so what we have to find is this magnitude of p that can be applied so let's start with the solution so we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we need this maximum bending moment for that we will remove this support at point a so you will be having a reaction force which is r a and if you remove this support at point b this will be equal to r b so by using symmetry this r a is equal to r b is equal to p if we take the symmetry at the middle this will be the same but i will solve it for you so we will apply equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces uh, along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so you can see r a is upward minus p minus p plus r b is equal to 0 so it means that r a plus r b is equal to 2p let this is your equation number 1 clear now you'll apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment positive so about point a one moment is this p into 1 and this is clockwise so it will be negative the second moment will be p into 2 meter and that will be also clockwise so it will be negative the third moment will be rb into distance is 3 and this is producing clockwise so a counter clockwise so it will be positive but the sum of all moment will be equal to 0 so i will write p into 1 minus 2 times p plus 3 times rb is equal to 0 so 3 times rb minus 3p is equal to 0 so it means that rb is equal 3rb is equal to 3p and rb is equal to p so this is the value of rb now put equation 2 in equation 1 so you will get r a plus p is equal to 2 p so from here you will get r a will be also equal to 2 p minus p which is equal to p so r a is also equal to p now you have both r a and r b so you will move toward drawing shear force and bending moment diagram for that i will draw a vertical line from the end of the beam similarly from this end as well and for the length we will draw a horizontal line that will show you the length x in meter here we will draw the shear force let each division is equal to 0.5 times p so this will be equal to p same is minus 0.5 times p 
and this is minus p you can take it as per your own requirement or availability of space so let's draw it so first point uh, you can see that at point a you have r a which is equal to p so we will first plot point p so your first point is this one now moving from a till point p there is no other force so it will remain horizontal so it will be p now here you can see you have minus p as well so shear force will change from p to zero because p minus p will be equal to zero again moving from this p till this p there is no other force so shear force will remain zero uh, there will be no change in the shear force so it will be remain same and at this point you can see you have minus p so zero minus p will be equal to minus p so shear force will change to minus p this is your minus p and moving from this p till end there is no other force so it will be remain same and at the end you can see you have rb which is equal to p so p minus p plus p will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we will move toward bending moment diagram so for that i will draw a horizontal line to show length x in meter and here you will be having moment so first moment at point a will be equal to zero because you can see that x is equal to zero so first point will be this one okay now area under the shear force diagram will give you moment and this area is equal to p into its length which is one meter you can see over here so it will be equal to p and since first we will locate this point p so again here i will take this as 0 0.5 times p and this is p so first point will be this one this is your p as the shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line and slope will be increasing because area under the shear force diagram is positive now you can see there is no area is zero so bending moment will be constant at this point till this point it will remain same p okay the third area under the shear force diagram is this one and this is minus p time one which is equal to minus p so movement over here will be equal to p this p minus p will be equal to zero and we will get a straight line and slope is decreasing because this area is negative area and this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be straight line and slope will be decreasing now this is your bending moment diagram this is your shear force diagram this is your shear force diagram sf d and this is your bending moment diagram so we will apply this formula from bmd from bmd we get uh, maximum bending moment maximum absolute value of maximum bending moment is equal to p and we know that maximum or allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we have been given a circular hollow pipe so we'll find moment of inertia of this beam let this is horizontal axis and this is vertical axis so this is your c outer which is given as 0 0.08 meter and this is your c inner which we have calculated and c inner is equal to 0 0.075 meter so moment of inertia for this hollow circular pipe is equal to pi by 4 times c outer power 4 minus c inner power 4 so you can just put the value over here so i is equal to pi by 4 into c outer is 0 
पावर फोर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव पावर फोर ओके सो वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट दिस आई विल बी इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव सेवन पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट थ्री वन नाइन फोर इंटू टेन एस्ट पावर माइनस सिक्स मीटर पावर फोर नाउ वॉट विल बी द सी सो सी इज मैक्सिमम डिस्टेंस फ्राम न्यूट्रल एक्सिस टिल द टॉप मोस्ट सो सी इज इक्वल टू सी नॉट विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट मीटर सो यू हैव दिस वैल्यू यू हैव दिस वैल्यू यू हैव आई सो वी विल पुट इट इन दिस इक्वेशन अलाउेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज गिवन एज वन फिफ्टी मेगा पासकल सो आई विल राइट वन फिफ्टी इंटू टेन एस टू पावर सिक्स इज इक्वल टू पी इन टू सी इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट डिवाइड बाई सेवन पॉइंट थ्री वन नाइन फोर इन टू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस सिक्स सो फ्राम हेयर यू विल गेट P is equal to one fifty into ten to the power six multiplied by seven point three one nine four into ten to the power minus six divided by zero point zero eight. So when you calculate it, you will get P is equal to one three seven two three point nine one newton, or in kilo newton, it will be equal to P is equal to one. Thirteen point seven kilo newton, and this is the answer of our question that this much P is applied on this shaft. But we will check it, check it with the shear force, shear stress as well. So shear stress, we will for checking shear stress, we know that. allowable or maximum shearing stress is equal to maximum shear force into q divided by i into t so q v max from the shear force diagram is equal to p it is also equal to p and what will be the q max so q max will be equal to you can see this is the circular pipe so we will take the first moment q max for this shaded portion clear q max so what we will do is that first we will consider is as a solid semi circle so we will find this q1 q1 for this and then we will consider the inner one as a solid so this will be equal to q2 so q1 minus q2 will give you Q max, which is this shaded portion, clear. So you can see that if we take this outer circle, so its Q max is equal to area into y dash. So its y dash will be somewhere here. This is equal to y one dash. bar and that is equal to 4 over 3 pi into c not similarly for inner circle we have y2 dash so this is your y2 dash bar and that is also equal to 4 over 3 pi c inner clear so i will write it over here uh q max let me write somewhere above so that you can easily understand and visible to you so q max is equal to 4 over 3 pi c not which is equal to 0.08 into area which is equal to pi by 4 pi by 2 c uh, c power uh, pi by 2 Into zero point zero eight square. So this area is pi by two zero point zero eight whole square because this is semicircle. The full circle area is pi r square. So for semicircle, 
circle the area is pi by 2 r square so for outer we are taking this minus 4 into 4 over 3 pi into r c i is 0 0.075 into its area into its area which is pi by 2 into 0 0.075 whole square so when you solve this you will get q max will be equal to 60.083 into 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter what is i so i we have calculated is 7.3194 cubic meter and what about thickness t so thickness t is also equal to this thickness plus this so it will be equal to 0, 0 0.005 plus 0 0.005 which is equal to 0 0.01 meter so note down all these values, this Q, this I, this V, T naught, uh, T thickness T. So you can just put it in the formula. Tie allowable is equal to RT max. Maximum shear stress is equal to V max into Q max divided by I into T put the value t allowable is 85 megapascal so 85 uh, sorry that was t allowable we have been given t allowable as well which was equal to 85 megapascal so t max tau max is equal to v max which is equal to p now q max we which we calculated was 60.0833 into 10 to the power minus 6 what was the value of i that was equal to 7.3194 into 10 to the power minus 6 and thickness is 0 0.01 so when you solve this you will get maximum sharing stress comes out to be 11.27 mega pascal now you can see this tom max which is less than allowable max mega pascal so you can say tom max is less than allowable sharing stress so conclusion is that the value of p that can be applied is 13.7 kilo newton and this was all about this problem 11-25 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching